when Picard does, mm-hmm. in fact, begin to air, whether that's March or April or whenever, um, Anne Marie here found us a new piece of information that Jonathan Frakes uh, mentioned. Do you want to tell us about it a little bit, Anne Marie? Well, I think it, it it's not in enti- I mean, it's like the past week. Um, yeah, he's just talking a little bit more about his time directing and acting on Picard. And so he said that he's actually like in a scene with Q and Brent Spiner as another soon character, um, which I'm like totally fangirling now about. I love those three. And like the more on a screen at once, the better. Mm-hmm. I can't even wait. Yeah. The, the Q also, Frakes like, the combo. more soon, the better. And love yeah. all of them. To know them is to love them. So more here's Brent Spiner. Another, always. Here's another. Um, article by trek movie our good friends at trekmovie.com i think this is what you're referencing and marie you sent this mm-hmm. in um so here's the article uh it's from january 3rd jonathan frakes you talks so happy. I, know, I just love him <laughs> oh. <laughs> he is god's there. gift to the universe i've heard so um <laughs> anyway uh it says frakes will share a scene with Delancey. Um, That's says, great. I have a scene with Q and Soong, who is Brent Spiner, who Brent Spiner plays on Picard. It's going to be a new Soong that we all know. It's going to be another member of the Soong family, but not they one that's ever been. They all look the same. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> dominant alleles. Strong genetics. Yeah. yeah, you get a Soong. You get a Soong. You get a Soong. There it is. Inbreeding. There's a lot of inbreeding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's eugenics, you mean. It's eugenics. Uh, so Q and Soong and uh, Frakes, I guess Riker, We'll all be in a scene together or more scenes. Well, uh, it does say that he was talking about directing the scene, not acting. So, but he could also be saying that to throw people off. Because it says they, they share a scene, but Trek Movies confirmed he was talking about directing the scene, not acting in it. So maybe, mm. so, uh, so Freaks might just be, he might have just been directing the scene, saying that was one of my favorites. Um, but of course, that, that could just be him throwing us all off the scent, you know? Like, maybe he's supposed to not be revealed. He's like, oh, I mean, I was just directing, you <laughs> yeah. know? I know I've eaten my words many times. There have been a lot but, of yeah. slip-ups lately, but that's a that's a good point, Bonnie. Uh, it could be a slip-up that he tried to clean up, or he could just be like, no, no, I meant directing, obviously. Obviously, <laughs> like, oh. I meant I directed the scene. <laughs> yeah, and then, you know what? I, we, You know, he's he's an incredible director, so. Exactly. We'll take whatever we can get. I'd yeah, we'll the- take it. I love the Riker Q combo though. They're, they're, like they, their interactions were often very amusing in TNG. So I would love mm-hmm. it if it ends up being an acting scene. But you know, whatever we get, we get. My favorite interaction was Q and Worf when he said, "Eat any good books lately?" <laughs> yes, <laughs> best line. Oh ever. my gosh! <laughs> I think Q is one of my favorite characters. So whenever I saw uh, the teaser, you know, last year the Picard teaser where they hinted that he'd be coming back, I was just, I was like, ah. I remember I just, I think I just tweeted Q, like in all caps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, look at this. Uh, there's a little bit more in this article here. Our good buddy Kit Stolen, art director, uh, tweeted this Isn't out. That fun? Wow. Oh, cool. That. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Uh, streaming will resume shortly. <laughs> 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 That's uh, but yes, yeah, cool. so we're also going to have a board queen. What do we have any idea what Q is going to be doing <sighs> in Picard? I mean, he's going to be messing with Picard. Yeah, timey okay. wimey, wibbly wobbly. I mean, yes! just from what I've gotten, right. just from what I've gotten from the, um, you know, clips that they're showing, it's definitely going to be messing up with the timeline, and and you know, you're going to. It looks like we're going to see storylines that obviously had never happened that you know it, i mean it even seems i, I wouldn't say mirror universe esque but it, it has that feel uh-huh. you know like it has that yeah he was, he was an interesting character because he often comes across as being the person who's messing things up but in actuality he's actually trying to help you fix it i mean like with the like with the finale or or 
or Ryan's favorite episode. He's like the worst kind of teacher. (laughs) Like, you know, the teacher is like, oh, I'll help you figure it out, but you're going to have to figure it out on your own. Mm -hmm. Sort of. I won't just tell you the answer. (laughs) Tell me the answer. In in Dungeons and Dragons, we call that chaotic good. It's like his intentions are, are actually on the good side like he's trying to help but the way he does it is just pure chaos and it's mm-hmm. like there there's so much there's such an easier way like i know you're just trying to entertain yourself at this point but he's just like a chaotic <laughs> yeah. demon see basically. i've always <laughs> seen q as not he wants people and humanity to think and picard to think that he's doing good and teaching him a lesson but he's really just fucking with him like he really just seems like <laughs> yeah he's just like toying with the guy and he's like See, I'm doing this to teach you a lesson. I hope you've learned and and you're welcome. And we're like, well, you're just you you really just being an asshole. <laughs> I guess in yeah. tapestry, yeah, the best episode ever in tapestry. Uh he did teach him a very valuable lesson. Oh. Yeah. Where's Be, although getting in bed with him was a little much. <laughs> Damn it, nice. Q. I don't want to play your games anymore. Right, there he is. He croaked <laughs> out. <laughs> oh no. Anyway. Um I do on. know that I'm trying to remember. Uh I feel like uh he has puck energy. You know, like midsummer's mm. yeah. energy. He, he yes. has like puck. Where like he's the things he's doing init- like eventually will turn out in the favor of what you want, but the the road to get there is just pure chaos and 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 foolery, Tom foolery. Linda in the chat says Picard is Q's pet. It kind of feels that way sometimes. Mm. Like, yeah. you know, if you ever have like a cat that sits around all day, you can tell that a lot of times they just eat out of boredom. They don't just eat when they're hungry. Sometimes they just they just get up and they just yep. kind of sniff their bowl and take a nibble or two. Cute. Kitty, I was about Katie. to go grab my cat, but he's but over there. It yep. almost seems like that's what Q does with Picard. Like he's just laying around. He's just kind of like, oh, let me. I guess maybe I, I guess I could screw around with Picard today. You know? Yeah. Let's just see if I can make him cry or something. Well, when oh my God. <laughs> when you're a being that has that much power and you've also lived for that long, I mean, honestly, a lot of the things he does, I feel, is just out of boredom half the time. Mm-hmm. You know, him snapping his fingers and bringing the Borg, you know, yeah. uh, spoilers, you know, but, that you know, yeah, yeah. In, in, in Next Generation, uh, you know, him doing that, it's like, wait a minute, you know. He, there's no need for you. Why? Why do you, why bring them here? We don't the want this villain. Line. When you've Wasn't already been a scarecrow. Yeah. yeah. There's a plot line oh, yeah. like that, where the Q were all bored and sitting in that town yeah. and stuff. Yeah, that's right. They're just <laughs> yeah. kind of, you know, they don't really know yeah. what to do with themselves. Yeah. So they're just Save like, what, what do you do? Yeah. What do you do when you're all yeah. powerful and you basically want for nothing? I and mean, that's kind of, you know, yeah. I feel Q's, he doesn't understand why oh, humans do the things we do anyway I, i'd love to just snap my fingers and you know have a you know have a live band playing <laughs> there's a twilight yes. zone episode about this where like the person thinks he's in heaven because he, anything he wishes for comes true but it turns out like he's not <laughs> yeah. Ooh. He gets so bored oh gosh yeah because we are getting a lot of new star trek <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> Wait, no, which, who, which one of us is the all powerful one that yeah. keeps snapping our fingers with yeah. more Star Trek shows? Obviously, Katie. Not me. I, I use mine for the weather. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who else uses their powers for Star Trek. Uh, there's also one more thing um, that was mentioned in the, the previous article on Screen Rant. That was a great article mm-hmm. about 2022. That uh, we've got a movie coming, and that is going to be December 23rd, 2023. So that is. The so following year, so we'll have to talk about that a year from oh. now. <laughs> but, All right, uh, we'll meet back here, same time, same place. Everyone's good. I'll pencil jokes. it in. Works, and it'll still be a year away. <laughs> January fourth, twenty twenty four. Oh, that's true. I'm talking about. Oh, I'll put it in. We'll go after the movie's out. All of us can go and see it. 